I am Vet Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to interpret ABGs in three easy steps. So before we jump into the steps, we first got to review the lab values because if you don't have these lab values memorized, you're not going to know how to interpret the ABGs. First, let's review our pH. So here's our pH scale. 7.35 to 7.45 is our normal range. 7.4 in the middle, that's neutral, okay? If we go lower in our number, we become more acidic. And if we go higher in our numbers, we become more basic or alkaline. Our CO2 is 35 to 45. And then our HCO3, sometimes they call this bicarb. If you've heard of bicarb, it's the same thing as HCO3. 22 to 26. And unfortunately, this part you just kind of have to memorize. You just got to memorize these numbers, but once you do that and you have them down, you'll be able to do the ABG questions. So a couple little tips for doing the ABGs. Uncompensated is when your CO2 or your HCO3 is normal. So when you're doing the problem and you notice one of these is normal, then it's probably uncompensated. Partially compensated is everything's out of whack, okay? Nothing is normal. Everything is abnormal. And then compensated is when your pH is normal. So within this range. So what are the three steps? The first step you want to do is figure out, is this compensated, partially compensated, or uncompensated? Then you want to figure out, is this a respiratory or a metabolic issue? And then finally, is this acidosis or alkalosis? And then another little thing over here that can help you remember, um, respiratory is opposite. So if you compare the pH and the CO2 and they're opposites of each other, then it's respiratory. Metabolic is equal. So if you compare the pH and the HCO3 and they are the same, so you have an increased pH and an increased bicarb, then it's metabolic. So let's do some sample problems. The first thing you want to do is look at your numbers and are they within the normal ranges? And if they're not, are they above the normal range or below the normal range? So starting with our pH, it's 7.58. We know the normal range is 7.35 to 7.45. So this is above our normal range. This is an abnormal number. So we're going to give it a little up arrow, okay? Now looking at our CO2, it's 20. Is that in our normal range? No, because remember, our normal range is 35 to 45. So 20 is actually lower than our normal range. And then our bicarb is also 20. That's also not in our normal range. It's close, <laughs> but it's not in our normal range. Remember, 22 to 26, so this is low. So now that we have all this information, we can do our three steps. The first one is this compensated, partially compensated, or uncompensated. So remember, uncompensated, either one of our uh, CO2 or our bicarb is normal. So our CO2 or bicarb normal in this? No, so we know it's not that one. In partially compensated, everything's all over the place. Everything is abnormal. And when we look at this, is everything abnormal? Yes. So this is partially compensated. All right, so step number one, done. Step two, is this respiratory or metabolic? So using our Rome, comparing our pH to each of them. So when we compare our pH to our CO2, they are opposite each other, right? Because this one's going up, this one's going down, that's opposite, so this is respiratory. And then a final step is this acidosis or alkalosis. And for that, we need to look at our pH. So where on the pH scale does this fall? Okay, it's a higher number, so it's more basic, so it is alkalosis. So there you go, you've solved your first one. So this is partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. Let's do another one. 
So our range is here, 7.31. Where does that fall in here? It's out of range, it's not normal, and it's on the low side. Our CO2 is 34. Remember 35 to 45, so it's close, but not quite. So it's out of range and it's also low. And our bicarb is 21. Again, close, but not quite. Um, out of range and it's also low. So everything in this one is low. So our first step again, is it compensated, partially compensated, or uncompensated? Well, everything is out of whack here, right? Nothing is normal. And when nothing is normal, partially compensated. Now, our second step, is this a respiratory thing or a metabolic thing? So let's compare our pH. Now, we can compare our pH to our bicarb. So our pH is decreased, it's low and our bicarb is also low. And when they're equal, it's metabolic. And then finally, step three, is this acidosis or alkalosis? And to figure that out, we look at our pH, and we see that our pH is low, and the lower we go, right, it's more acidic. So for this one, we have partially compensated metabolic acidosis. Let's do a few more practice ones. All right, our next example, let's check out our pH. It's 7.21, so is that normal? No. Is it high or low? It's low. Our CO2 is 35. Is that normal? It is. So for that, I usually just do a little neutral sign, it's normal. And then our CO3 is 20, is that normal? No, and then is it high or low? It's low. Okay, so our first step is this compensated, partially compensated or uncompensated. Well, this time we have something that's normal. So if something is normal, what is it? Uncompensated. Our second step, is this a respiratory thing or a metabolic thing? Let's compare. So our pH with our CO2, they're not opposite, nor are they equal, because our CO2 is a normal number. It's in a normal range. So we can skip that part and move on to our bicarb. Our pH compared to our bicarb, are they opposite or are they equal? They're equal, right? They're both going down, so it's metabolic. And then our final step, is this acidic or is this alkaline? So 7.21 is very low on the scale, right? So it is more acidic. So we have uncompensated metabolic acidosis. Now our next one, 7.49. That's not in a normal range, right? Is it high or low? It's high. Our CO2 is 30. We know that's not in a normal range because our normal range is 35 to 45. So this one's low. And then finally, our bicarb is 24. Is that in a normal range? Yes, because normal is 22 to 26. So our first step, compensated, partially compensated, or uncompensated. When something is normal, when your CO2 or your bicarb are normal, it's automatically uncompensated. Now our second step, is this a respiratory thing or a metabolic thing? So let's compare our pH and our CO2. It looks like they're opposites. So respiratory is opposite. So this is a respiratory thing. And then our final step is this acidosis or alkalosis. 
Our pH is 7.49, so it's high, so it's more basic, so it's alkalosis. So this example is uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. I know that ABGs can kind of be a little bit scary and intimidating when you're first learning them, but really the key is practice, practice, practice. Know these lab values, just have them memorized, have them in your head, okay? Um, no, uncompensated is your PaCO2 or your HCO3 is normal. Partially is everything is crazy, everything is abnormal, and then compensated is when your pH is normal. So have this bit memorized, okay? That's going to help. Then do your three steps. So when you look at the equation, just like the examples we've been doing, figure out first, is this compensated partially or un? Our second, is this respiratory or metabolic? And then our third, is this an acidosis or an alkalosis? So putting the pieces of the puzzle together in three easy steps. So that was my video on ABG interpretation. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.